Hello and welcome to my video. Today we are going to solve the calculus problem and the problem itself is actually quite simple. It says what is the minimum distance between two parabolas y equal minus x square and y equal x minus 4 square minus 1. Here I will present two ways to solve this problem and the former is a bit more complicated than the latter but in both methods I will use basically the same principle and in order to get there first we need to start from a bit simpler case. When does the distance between a point and a curve becomes the minimum? Here consider a differentiable curve y equals fx and a fixed point a whose coordinates are a comma b outside the curve. In order to handle the distance between a point and a curve we consider the distance between point A and an arbitrary point P on the curve. We can denote the coordinate of point P as x, fx. Now, let gx be the square of the distance between points A and P. Then, gx is given as x minus a square plus fx minus b square. Now we want to minimize this gx and in order to do that, we must take derivative of gx. So the derivative g prime x is given as 2 times x minus a plus 2 times fx minus b. Then we must differentiate this inner part. So we have f prime x. Now suppose that the distance d becomes minimum when the point p is at specific location called p prime and let us denote the coordinates of p prime as k comma fk then this must be the point where the derivative becomes zero so using this we have 2 times k minus a plus 2 times fk minus b times f prime k equals zero now let's rearrange this. First we cancel out 2. Now let's divide both sides with k minus a f prime k. In order to do that it must be guaranteed that k is not equal to a and f prime k is non-zero. But here let us just assume that these conditions hold. In this case the first term becomes 1 over f prime k and the second term becomes f k minus b over k minus a equals 0. Therefore, we have fk minus b over k minus a equals minus 1 over f prime k. Now what does this relation mean? First, you can notice that this left hand side is the slope of the line a p prime. Next, the derivative f prime k means the slope of the tangent at point p prime. Now recall that when two lines are perpendicular, the product of their slopes is minus 1. Therefore, minus 1 over f prime k is the slope of the line that is perpendicular to the tangent at point p prime. In other words, this right hand side is the slope of the normal line to the curve at point p prime. Therefore, the slope of the normal line at point p prime equal the slope of the line a p prime means that this line a p prime must be the normal line to the curve at point p prime. So we have this sort of lemma or underlying mathematical principle. The length of a p prime being the minimum distance between point a and the curve y equals f x is equivalent to the line a p prime being the normal line to the curve at point p prime. Well, it can be either minimum or maximum depending on the type of the curve, but in this video it suffices to say minimum and this is the property that we are going to use. But wait, isn't this relation only valid when k is not equal to alpha and f prime k is non-zero? What about the other case when these conditions do not hold? Well, let's handle that specific case here. Here, the minimum distance occurs when derivative g prime x becomes 0. Suppose this g prime x becomes 0 when x equals k, which represents this point p prime, but now this k is now equal to a. This means that x coordinates of a and p prime are the same, hence this line a p prime is perpendicular to the x axis. Now with k equals a, the equation simply becomes 2 times fk minus b times f prime k equals 0. Since this point a comma b is considered as the point outside the curve, 
if k minus b cannot be 0, therefore, the only choice is f prime k being 0. Since this f prime k means the slope of the tangent at point p prime, this slope being 0 means that the tangent line at point p prime is horizontal line parallel to the x-axis. Therefore, we have the conclusion that line a p prime is perpendicular to the tangent at point p prime, which means that the line a p prime is the normal line to the curve at point p prime. Therefore, in this trivial case, we also arrive at the same conclusion. Now let us apply this principle to our two parabola problem. So here's our two parabolas. And for the first method, I am going to show you what's called the two variable method. The distance between two parabolas can be expressed using the distance between two points on each parabola denoted here as points P and Q. Let's think of this distance as the distance between point P and the right parabola. In order for this distance to be minimized due to the property we have just derived, line PQ must be the normal line to the right parabola at point Q. Also, if we think of distance PQ as the distance between point Q and the left parabola, then this line PQ must be the normal line to the left parabola at point P. Therefore, this line PQ must be the common normal line to the two parabolas. Now let us express points P and Q like this. P as t comma minus t square and Q as s comma s minus 4 square minus 1, where t and s are real numbers. We use two variables t and s, hence the two variable method. We are going to use the fact that the normal lines at p and q must be equal. First, let us find the normal line at point p. We must first find the slope of the normal line, so we must differentiate the equation of the parabola. So from this equation, the derivative is minus 2x. This means the slope of the tangent at point p is minus 2t, so the slope of the normal line at point P is 1 over 2t. Using this slope and these coordinates, the normal line to this parabola at point P is y minus minus t square equals the slope 1 over 2t times x minus t. If we simplify this, we obtain y equals 1 over 2tx minus 1 over 2 minus t square. And we can do the same thing for the normal line at point Q. If we take the derivative of this parabola, we have 2 times x minus 4. This means the slope of the tangent at point Q is 2 times s minus 4. So the slope of the normal line is minus 1 over 2 times s minus 4. Therefore, we have y minus y coordinates equals slope minus 1 over 2 s minus 4 x minus s. And if we simplify this, we obtain the normal line y equals minus 1 over 2 s minus 4 x plus s over 2 s minus 4 plus s minus 4 square minus 1. Alright, so we have obtained the normal lines to each parabola. Now we use the fact that these two normal lines are equal Therefore, the slopes and intercepts must be equal. So from the slopes, we obtain 1 over 2t equals minus 1 over 2s minus 4. And from the intercept, we obtain minus 1 over 2 minus t square equals s over 2s minus 4 plus s minus 4 square minus 1. Now from this first equation, we have 2t equals minus 2s minus 4. So therefore, we have t equals 4 minus s. Substituting this into equation 2, we have 4 minus s square here, then the right hand side. Now let us multiply 2 times s minus 4 on both sides. Then we have minus s minus 4 here and minus 2s minus 4 cube here equals s plus 2s minus 4 cube minus 2s minus 4. So if we rearrange this and move this term to the right hand side, then combined with this term, we have 4s minus 4 cube. And if we move this to the right hand side, we have minus s minus 4. And finally, 
plus s equals zero. So this s is cancelled. So we have four s minus four cube equals minus four, which means that s minus four is simply minus one. Therefore, s equals three. And from t equals four minus s, we have t equals one. Therefore, using these values, we can find that the coordinates for p and q are p is one comma minus one, and q is three comma zero. And the minimum distance is square root of three minus one square plus zero plus one square, which is two square plus one square. So we have square root of five. And this is the minimum distance between two parabolas. Now I am going to present you the second method, which is called the one variable method. Here we use the same principle. Again, let p and q be the points on parabola y equals minus x square and y equals x minus four square minus one, respectively. Again, we are going to use the fact that the distance pq is minimum when the line pq is common normal line to the two parabolas. Also notice that. Two parabolas are symmetric with respect to m, the midpoint between two vertices. Therefore, the common normal line PQ must pass this point of symmetry, and m is also the midpoint of line segment PQ. Now, let coordinates of p as t comma minus t square. Then we obtain the normal line at point p. From y equals minus x square. The derivative is minus 2x. Hence, the equation of the normal line at point P is y plus t square equals the slope of the normal line is 1 over 2t times x minus t. Now, the coordinates of the vertices of two parabolas are 0 comma 0 and 4 comma minus 1. Hence, the coordinates of the midpoint M is 2 comma minus 1 over 2, and this normal line passes point m, therefore minus 1 over 2 plus t square equals 1 over 2t times 2 minus t. If we multiply 2t on both sides, minus t plus 2t cube equals 2 minus t. So we have t cube equals 1, therefore t equals 1, which means that the coordinates of point p is 1 comma minus 1. Therefore, the minimum distance pq can be obtained by 2 times the distance pm, which is 2 times square root of, using these coordinates, 1 square plus 1 over 2 square, which gives square root of 5. The same answer we obtained in the first method. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in another video.